Hey developers, so today I have nine GitHub repositories that you should know about. Now I've done a few videos like this and I keep getting awesome repositories that I wanna share with you guys. So I keep on making these videos. So leave a comment below if you guys like these type of videos and uh, yeah, let's just jump on into it. Okay, so the first repository I wanna show you is actually a little bit of plug for my own. I have a list of the best amazing YouTubers I have a list of all the different programming channels. It's 18 different languages. I break it up between tutorials, informational, live coding, game development. So if you are a fan of watching YouTube videos like I am and you like programming videos and you wanna learn things, check out this repositories. Pull requests are welcome. Although I am behind it, I have 32 pull requests I have to take a look at. I am gonna to get to those. But yeah, this is a really fun repository. I've had it for a while. I think it's the number one place on probably Earth if you wanna get the best programming channels on YouTube and you wanna search through it. Yeah, so check out this repository and I'll make sure all the links to these repositories are in the description so you can look through there and just go through them and check them out as you want. And I'm also gonna to try to put timestamps in so you can kinda of jump around this video if you like. Uh, also, quick plug, if you like this dev YouTube list, I also, in the description, I put a link to my mailing list and I, Occasionally mail email out some really cool stuff uh, on my YouTube videos. I also you get a free cheat sheet Yeah, so check that out. You get a free Vue.js cheat sheet if you sign up Okay, so The next repository I didn't create this one. So this is called JavaScript questions and this is really neat so it has uh, it has 18 different translations and it has a ton of different questions and you can actually go through here and just test your JavaScript knowledge. So let's say you are going for a job interview or you're just trying to learn JavaScript a little better. Try out these JavaScript questions. Uh, you can actually, uh, if you click answer here, you'll get the answer, but uh, you can hide the answers as you go so you don't know what they are. You can look at this. It's pretty fun. Actually, uh, this if you look at this repository by uh, Lydia, she actually has an Instagram stories where she uh, continuously updates it. Let's see, I can see last updated June 12th. So it's really cool. It's uh, some nice JavaScript questions to get your mind going, you know, help you uh, get, get going with, uh, help you study for interviews. You know, it's kind of neat. So I thought I would, would uh, share with you guys. The next one is called Trek HLAB. It's called JavaScript algorithms. So if you've ever ran into a situation where you needed to know what a linked list is or doubly linked list, queue or stack or whatever, there has these these are pretty common problems and there's libraries for this. If you wanna learn how these libraries work, here is like the ultimate list of JavaScript algorithms and data structures. So you can click on any of these things, linked list, doubly linked list, queue, and actually look how other people solve them and you can install those libraries if you want or you can just see how it's implemented, which I always find very helpful. Once again, this is perfect if you are studying for an algorithms interview. You may not have to always implement these, but you at least should know how they work. Uh, and oftentimes with uh, algorithm problems, you'll need to know how to create a linked list. And then they might ask you how to create a double linked list. Or you have a situation, how do you fix a situation with a linked list? So knowing how they're implemented is very helpful and useful. It even has uh, algorithms by topic, so they have uh, math algorithms, factorials, Fibonacci numbers, sets. You know, this would have been perfect when I was in college when they asked me to do, to write the Fibonacci number. Uh, I could have looked it all up in here or if I had to create a linked list, it's all here written for you and it's in JavaScript. So if you're a web developer, this should be familiar for you, uh, with, for you. There's also searches, linear search, jump search, binary search. You're definitely gonna learn into binary search if you're looking to do algorithm type interviews, uh, linked lists, graphs, I mean, it has tons uh, and by paradigms. If you just click on any of these links, these goes to other repositories. You can also run it all. Um, you can NPM install it and just try them all out. They have big O notation sheet in here. So you can see the big O notations of a lot of these, of what a Q is, hash table, bubble sort, like the best average and worst case scenario. So this is really neat that this is all on here. So yeah, check it out. The next one. I didn't know what this is the first time I saw it. It's the big list of naughty strings. So on, when you have user input, you want to check different strings that'll go into it. And uh, these are high probability of causing issues when used as user input data. So you can kind of use this as a tool to put inside your user inputs to check it out. So I've never heard of this. 
I thought it was kind of neat the way they're doing it. That you can even download as NPM packages. But this might be interesting to add into your software test suite to see if things are working right. So check that out. Uh, big list of naughty strings. Another one, free for dev. I mentioned this, I think, in a couple of videos ago when I talked about GitHub repositories I'd recommend. But this is a developer's open source uh, the free tiers, but it's hard to find them all. This is a list of SAS, PASS, LAS, Esther, and other offerings that have free tiers for developers. So if you're looking to kind of jump into one of these technologies, you're trying to learn it, and you want to find a free tier, here it is. So here's just tons of services as you can do it. Like here's platform as a service, and you can see, oh, here, uh, you know, Gearhost, Glitch. I've actually used Glitch in the past. It's cool, like uh, free private hosting. I'm sure like Heroku is in here. If I search Heroku, yep, so Heroku in here, Kinto Hub. So if you don't know what to what services are out there, here's a cool list of free ones with have that has free tiers. So when you're trying to learn technology, I check this out. If it's email or search or whatever. Another, I, I have to keep clicking here, custom notifications. And I got it. I got it ten times. <laughs> So clean JavaScript, uh, clean code JavaScript, is a way to run uh, to learn clean code, and it comes from Robert C. Martin's book Clean Code. They have some uh, very uh, awesome principles in there. I've mentioned this in two in a previous video, but this is a useful resource to figure out like uh, what are some common patterns you should do for clean code. So like using searchable names, use explanatory variables, avoid mental mapping. Don't use unneeded code in context. And the nice thing, it has examples, so you can see bad examples and good examples. So I just did a video recently about some ways you can kind of clean up your code. This is like, that wasn't Robert C. Martin's clean code. That was kind of my advice. This is the actual Robert C. Martin clean code book ideas in one repository. Uh, how do you do functions? You know, use two or few ideally. Functions should do one thing, um, single responsibility principle type of things. So I really like this. Every time I I feel like I'm not writing very good code, I look at this GitHub repository and it gets me motivated and it kind of reminds me of some good practices. Awesome for beginners. So this is, uh, so if you're getting into open source software, it is pretty intimidating when you first start out. Like no one knows where to go or what to do. And you may read up on some, uh, you may read up on some blog articles, and it says you should contribute to open source. But how do you do it? This is a really cool repository because it gives you one place where they show you that are they're looking for first-time contributors or people who have never contributed to open source. And usually the way that happens in open source is you have these tags in GitHub, and you tag something as you tag an issue as uh, like first-time only or beginner-friendly. So this is cool. So if you're trying to get into like a JavaScript open source project, you can look here and see, oh, look, look for labels, first time only. So there's Webpack, Free Code Camp, Ghost, Hoodie Camp, Yarn. I actually contributed a little bit to Ghost at, at one point. Moment.js, I probably wouldn't contribute to Moment, but <laughs> it's there. So this is really cool. They even have like React and Gatsby. And so a lot of open source projects are looking for first time contributors. And this is a nice way of, of kind of filtering which ones and which projects are looking for people rather than just kind of guessing and going to different repositories and try to figure it out yourself. This is the Tech Interview Handbook. I've seen this. I mentioned this a few times before. It's just a, a really good comprehensive list of ways you can practice for an interview, like how to prepare interview cheat sheets, uh, interview formats, kind of soft skills and how to answer certain things. Uh, it's great if you're looking for a job and you just need to prepare a little bit, you know, check out this repository. And last but not least is the awesome list of lists. So this uh, this is kind of a trend I've seen uh, for quite a few years now where people put a, a content, a list of really cool content for a technology or platform. And so it's in one place for people to get to. And so this has like, this is the list of lists. So if you're looking for uh, databases and you're looking for um, like MySQL, then it, this will link to the awesome MySQL list of that has all these links to things that you may want to learn if you're learning MySQL. Like it has resources, analysis, back um, benchmarking. So I always like to look at this. So every time I'm trying to learn a new technology, I check out the awesome version of it and see what resources are out there to give me an idea of what's in the landscape. So that's it. That's all nine GitHub repositories. We did pretty quick in 10 minutes. 
So uh, I appreciate it. If you guys are interested in learning more about YouTube, I'm going to um, pitch it again. Check out my dev YouTube list. Like I said, all these links will be in the description below. And uh, leave a comment and let me know if there's any repositories you love. Thanks.